Welcome to All That Catholic Stuff. I'm Chris Bray. You just need to know you are the beloved child of God. Hey! Why do Catholics say the same prayers over and over and over and over again? It's all so repetitive. And doesn't Jesus condemn vain repetition? Hmm? Some challenge Catholics in the way that they pray because of what Jesus had to say in Matthew chapter 6. Essentially, Jesus told them not to pray like the hypocrites, people who wanted to speak and pray loudly in public places purely for their own reward. Jesus goes on to say not to use vain repetition or empty phrases like the heathens, those who are not part of the true faith, because they think that they'll be heard for their many words. So is Jesus talking about how Catholics pray? Well, I'm sure there are some Catholics out there that use long and unnecessary words. People that are praying so that they'll have the reward before men, so that they'll be heard by men rather than heard by God. But surely, this is something totally different than praying the same prayer more than once. If it were, then we could bring this charge against most of modern Christianity today. Simply examine some of the songs that are sung in congregations around the world. Contemporary Christian music is some of the most repetitive worship that there is out there. The choruses that are so simple and repetitive that we sing over and over and over and over, yet no one seems to label these as vain repetition. We could bring this charge of vain repetition against the, the angels in heaven who day and night continually sing holy, 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 or the psalmist David who says, praise the Lord, blah, 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 praise the Lord, blah, 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 praise the Lord. He keeps going on continually saying this. Not only that, but we could also bring this charge of vain repetition against God himself. What? Don't go there. After all, Jesus, after telling them how not to pray using vain repetition and empty phrases and long unnecessary words, goes on to say in the next paragraph, he says, pray this prayer daily, and this is what you should say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Jesus gives us the prayer in which we are to say daily in the Lord's Prayer, in the Our Father. See. Simply praying the same prayer over and over again isn't what God dislikes. What God despises is when we use these empty phrases and these long unnecessary words for our own glory. To be heard among men rather than having a sincere heart and crying out to God. And we can do that with one word. We can do that in hours and hours of reflection and meditation. Whether it's with the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, or the Rosary, or the Psalms, or a repetitive worship song, repetition helps us to reflect on the mysteries that are before us in our faith. The more that we reflect on God's Word, the more that we can unpack that, and the more that God's Word can speak to us and speak to our soul. And similarly, with our prayer, the more that we pray, the more that we engage in this discipline, the more that we can hear the voice of God speaking into our lives. It's kind of like working out. <sighs> If you do the same repetition over and over again in an exercise, it helps discipline your body. And in a similar way, the more that we pray, the more that we enter into repetitive reflection and engage in the mysteries of our faith, the more that we allow God to work and transform us. Made like what he's called us to be, holy. So let us repeat, let us reflect on the words that Christ gave to us in the Our Father so that we can be transformed by his grace. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, I have four things for you to do. The first one is to like my Facebook page. The second one is to share this video. The third one is to go to my website, chrisbraymusic.com and subscribe to receive all that Catholic stuff to your inbox. And the fourth one is to consider bringing me to your faith community for a parish mission, a night of worship, or a youth event. You just need to know you